Okay, hi, morning everyone. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year. Happy New Year. One, more, one more thing. Okay. Yesterday is my my birthday, so I didn't get the wishes from all of you. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Most thank you, but I'm still young, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Always young. Always young. Okay. So let's me uh don't forget to write down your name and your metric number in text box. Yeah. And then uh one minute, please everybody turn on your camera. I want to snap some of you here as my attendant. Uh, okay. Today is fun. All right. <clears throat> okay. Okay, look at your camera. One, two, three. Okay, one more. Okay. One. One, two, three. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So, guys, today we have a lot of things have to discuss. First of all, uh, about your uh, test two and then about your assignment two and assignment three, and then uh, about our lesson for today lah, topic six. And uh, we have to finish the all of topics today because test two, the topic concludes come from topic four, five, and six. Okay, so let's, um, I explain one by one. Okay, so <clears throat> one more thing, so let me share about advertisement, okay? About your test actually. Uh, wait, yeah, okay. Uh, I believe uh, our class repre representatives already share about the information test to with all of you. Okay, so let's me detail about that, right? So, uh, test to actually, okay, test to please lock the dates and time. The date is 8 January 2022, so the time is 8.30 to 9. Uh, 15 p.m. I mean malam, night. Yeah, not early mornings. Okay, but if you have a problems on that time, that means you have a class with the, with the lecture class or you have a appointment with the doctor or everything. Okay, please let me know. But if you have a class, try to get permission from your lecturer. That's 45 minutes only to complete your test too because we don't have the, the, the second test. Okay, I mean, uh, after after the first test for test two, I mean, we don't have this reset, reset paper. Okay, unless you have a big reason, okay, tough reason, maybe exam department, department will be contact you, right? Because this test, I'm, I'm not handled by the exam. I'm not handled by the test. Okay, I just make kick the the paper about the test and then I submit to exams department and then exam department give me the dates and time. So we have to follow them. All right. So mediums, we use a Google form. Okay, the procedure about the test. 
on that day and time, okay, <clears throat> I will post the links, okay, the link for Google Form in WhatsApp group. So you have to alert with WhatsApp groups, okay. Please click the link and the link will, uh, will bring you to answer the all of question at Google Form, okay. So the most important is make sure that you send your answer before 9.15 p.m. Before the time run out, okay? Your answer will be not be accepted after 9.15 because the system just open 45 minutes only, all right? So it's you late. Uh, it's a big problem, lah, okay, to you and to me also, okay? So hopefully, please uh, use your time easily. Try to answer the all of questions in 45 minutes. Okay, guys? All right, so I want to give you the tips for the test two. How to make it the biggest one? Huh? Okay, so the tips is topic complete, topic four, five, and six. They have three. Okay, the first part, I mean A. Okay, you have to fill in the banks with the best answer. Actually, the topic cover in this part a topic five. Okay, actually, <clears throat> the topic cover most of them lah, topic five, where you have to read the conversation. Okay, I just give you tips, yeah. Read the conversation, try to memorize a few of vocab then. Because you have to fill in the blanks with the best answer. I mean the vocabs you have. They have um, uh, for example, saya mahu and then blah uh, blanks, uh, kopi. So what the best answer? Saya mahu memesan segelas kopi. Uh, like that lah. Okay. So B. Okay. For section B, we're talking about the grammar. Where you have to rearrange the words to be a complete sentence. I will show you about uh, the formats for B and C after and the end of the lesson for today. Okay. And then C uh, about the writings where you have to rearrange the sentence. I give you the sentence, I mean the complete sentence, but you have to rearrange which one number one, two, and three. You have to rewrite in that slot at the column. Okay, this is not oral test. This is a written test. So written, I mean not to write down the answer and then you snap the picture. No, you have to type in. Lah. You have to complete in a Google form. After you finish, please click the button submit. And then, then forget to snap the uh, computer screen or screenshot uh, your computer, your page as a proofing. That means you attend the exam. Because of, okay, last time I have a case, one student, they did not attend the exam. And then they, they say, teacher, I, I attend because I didn't find, I did not find the paper. So I called the student, okay? Is you, uh, is you, uh, you absent uh, on that day? No, I attend, I attend. So you have to show your proofings. Is it? Okay. If, if I get the proof, I try to find your paper because I have more than 10 class. So please make sure at the first page, Google Form, you have to complete your detail. Please put your detail completely. Put your full names, your matrix number, and please remember, your class is section 9. Okay? Not group 9, yeah? Uh, most of you still confused because group for degree program, you a master and PhD program, you have to write down section nine. Please click at the section nine. Okay, if not, your paper will go into the other class. So it difficult formula to trace your papers. Okay, so please, you are not allowed to use a, uh, any device, books, or uh, notes around you. Be honest. Try to answer the papers. The test. Be honest as yourself. I don't know, it's up to you lah. Okay, no need to on the Zoom meeting, no need to on your camera. I believe you, okay? So, is it just, just yourself only. Answer the question by yourself in 45 minutes and then click 
the button submit. That's all. No need to on the Zoom, ya. Yeah? No need, right? So, uh, apa lagi? Apa lagi? So, I was thinking this is clear. Is it any question about the test too? How many question? Yeah, maybe maybe some of you want to ask him how many question. Okay, I'm not sure. Around twenty, uh, twenty, twenty, not twenty. Twenty. I did. I, I was thinking twenty, twenty or twenty-five like that lah. Okay. A five question. B. B five question also. Five to ten. And C, five question. That's all. Okay. Uh, all right. So, ada soalan about test two? Any question about test two? No? Clear? Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, all right. So, uh, please alert with your WhatsApp group. Yeah? Or maybe uh, Lily, our class representative, because some of you maybe they have a problem with PVN. Is it? Uh, maybe after I put in the WhatsApp group, you have to copy paste and send in the Telegram. Because I don't have a Telegram. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a Telegram. I just have a WhatsApp for me. Okay, so uh, if you everything is clear, so let's continue our lesson for today. Okay. So yeah, uh, many thanks, okay. Uh, I'm very appreciate for those who are done. Uh, submit your assignment too, please. Uh, for those who did not done, please complete your assignment too. Yeah? They have uh, many marks from there. Uh, after you finish answer your test too, I will explain more about the last assignment, assignment three. Just now we have to focus about your test first. Actually this week, we, I have to give you your assignment three. But I don't want to do that. I want everybody have Focus about your test first. All right, so let's begin our class for today, topic six. Okay, the topic six is uh, very easy. Okay, very easy and simple. Okay, at the end of the lesson, I will show you the formats here, yeah? the exam formats. All right, so look at topic six. Have, we have to cover about daily activity. Daily activity in Malay language, we call it activity harian. Activity is the activity in Bahasa Melayu. Harian, that's me, uh, harian is daily. Okay, harian, every day. Okay, so just now, I'm focused daily activity, you as a student in a campus, not you as somebody at outside. Because the activity, the uh, daily activity, we can do everything. Just now, we have to focus as a student. So, I want to ask you, what the most popular student activity are in campus? Please give me five answers. What is it? Most popular activity, students in a campus. Hey. They are going to the class. Yes, for and sure. Going to the class, study, right? And then number two. Yeah. What is it? The, the what? <laughs> what is it? Play go to the library. Go to library. Yes, very right. good. And then number three. Play Do basketball, some exercise, <laughs> sports, play, like, games. Huh? play games, play like. games, do some exercise, play uh, sports, everything lah, play everything lah. Okay, and then number four. Uh, as a student, study, study, study at the first one. <laughs> okay, number four, what is it? As a student, daily activity, the routine. Hmm. Complete. Go to the dormitory. But the dormitory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Complete the assignment, projects, is it? Uh, and then uh, go to some, because, because the UPM, you know, University of Putra Malaysia is very nearest at the town. So there is very easy to access if you want to go to the mall. Because they have a one mall, a very biggest one, the 
very nearest with the UPM. Okay, a lot a long time ago. Okay, I'm, I'm also as a student in UPM a long time ago. Okay, so when I, I get a stress, I try to release, I go to a mall to uh I, to go to the cinema with my friend to release my stress and then we enjoy with the bowlings and then we go to the swimmings. Actually, the bowling swimmings uh as a facility in a UPM. You can get the facility. Um, no pay, everything is free for students. Okay, so we have a lot of activity. So just now I want to um introduce a few of activity. I just said a few, yeah. I mean they have a many activity in university. So I just put a few only because you will be fine. The words also are in the paragraph. Okay. So the first activity most popular in UPM is bird jogging. Okay, actually, bird, bird jogging, you can say bird jogging, bird, this is a suffix. Okay, in, this is a surfing in Bahasa Melayu. This means this is a present tense. So the best, the, the root word is jogging. Same like in English lah. Okay? Jogging. So I was thinking I didn't explain about the jogging. You can refer the picture. What does it mean by bird jogging? And then berbasikal. Same like ber. Ber, this is a suffix. So the root word is basikal. Berbasikal. I mean it's cycling. Okay. How to get the, the, cycle, the bicycle? Actually, UPM, they have a, a prepared bicycle for those who love cycling. You just, you just have, you have to rent the bicycle. If I'm not mistaken, around a five ringgit for one thing. Okay, very cheap. All right, so you can rent the bicycle and then you can run the whole of UPM. And the number three, Bermain Badminton. Okay, Bermain, that means you play, name of the sport here. So just now, Badminton. So you play Badminton. Same like number four, bermain bola sepak. You play football, okay? All right, because UPM, they have they have a many fields, so you can enjoy which one field you want to play your, your football. And then number five, you attend the class, okay? Kelas. Actually, if we are in physical class, this is our hall, okay? Uh, you can, uh, they can put an, around uh, 100 to 150 students in one time. Okay, they have a, a so big slot, the hall. So, but just now we are in online online class, so everybody are in your rooms. May, uh, bigger than the, my hall just now. Okay, the last. All right. So the last one is perpustakaan. I mean, it's for those who love reading. You can go to library to find a reference book. Okay, so everything's lah. Okay, perpustakaan. I mean, it's library. So this is a most popular activity, a student activity are in university. Okay, so just now I bring you, we go to the most important place are in uni, uh, UPM. Sorry, yeah, because the picture is too small, but the most important is the words, all right? I try to make it the biggest one, sorry, sorry. Okay, I hope uh, you can see. Macam mana eh, nak besarkan. All right, so tempat-tempat penting di UPM. I mean, the important place are in UPM, you have to know. Okay, first of all, this is a Bagunan Chancellery. Okay, I mean a Chancellery building. Okay, any idea what is Bagunan Chancellery? Who know? What is it? No idea? Classroom. Uh, what is it? I Office think building. What? Yeah, actually, this is an office building. I mean, Bagunan Chancellery, this is an um, administration building, main building in UPM, and this is the Vinci office, our Vinci office. So our Vinci stay here, okay? So if you want to uh, place to register your subject, you want to drop your subject, you want to pay your school fees, actually, you have to be in here lah. But you have to remember, if you want to be in here, you have to put a formal attire. I mean, no deed, no slippers. I mean, a formal attire lah because this is the main building in UPM. Okay, number two, the langgang. What does it mean by the langgang? What the, what the difference between the langgang and padang? Padang is field, where the place you can play football. 
What the be the difference between gelanggang and the field? What is it? What the difference? Okay, at field, okay, at the field, you can play football. They have a many grass, right? But at the langgang, they have a court. So you can play like a football of uh, no football, netball, basketball, badminton. Okay, but if you want to play football, this is not the best place, lah. But if you want to play, uh, what we call it? It's good. Uh, uh, what the, the the same, the the same of the sport, same like football. Ah, uh, I forget it. Okay, baseball. Actually, Baseball, uh, yeah, baseball same. Uh, you have to play at the field like a football, right? right. Netball, basketball, <laughs> badminton, tennis. You have to play at the gelanggang. Okay, so pusat kesihatan. What does it mean by pusat kesihatan? Any idea? Kesihatan. What is it? Hmm. Okay, I give you a clue. <laughs> I want to give you a clue so you already give answer. Yes, this is a health center. Okay, uh, health center of university. So you can get free medical because you are <clears throat> university students. Okay, you can get a free medical if you come here. Okay, you want to dating with a doctor, you want to date with a nurse. Yes, welcome. Okay, pusat kesihatan, like a clinic, but this is not hospital. Okay. Actually, UPM, we have a hospital, the biggest one, okay? Uh, University Putra Malaysia, uh, Hospital of University Putra Malaysia, okay? Nearest with the UPM, but this is just a center only. Okay, so college kediaman. What, what does it mean by college kediaman? Any idea about college kediaman? No. Okay, one day, if you have been in UPM, where the best, the best place you want to stay? You want to rent a house or you want to stay at the campus? Which one? Rent house. Rent house. Okay. Maybe if you come with your family, you have to rent house lah. But if you come alone, I suggest you have to stay at the hostel. Okay. Actually, Koles Kediaman is a residence for students. Okay, like a hostel. They have uh, many buildings. Uh, the first building, we call it college pertama. I mean, first building. Uh, I'm not mistaken, around 15 college. Okay? So, you can get the facility. You, uh, if you want to take, uh, if you want to go to class, you can take a bus. Actually, one of a uh, building, the, build, the library and the college kediaman is too far. So, you have to take a shuttle bus to go, to go there. All right, because we are not school. If we are school, you can uh walking around, but the one place and one place too far, so you have to take a shuttle bus. All right, so last one is per perpustakaan. Perpustakaan. This is a library. Okay, library. All right, so center uh settle about the important place uh in UPM. So try to remember lah because uh, sometimes you will be found also the words are in the paragraph later. Okay, so just now I want to introduce you. I try to make it the, the small one. Okay, siapakah mereka? Siapakah mereka? Who? And who are they? Alright? Who are they? Okay, this is the people uh, most important for UPM. Without them, UPM is nothing. First of all, of course, you as a student. Student in Bahasa Melayu, we call it pelajar. Pelajar. Okay, in UPM, we have two categories of student. First, prasiswaza. And the second one, pasca siswaza. Okay, prasiswaza for those who are doing degree program with UPM. Pasca siswaza for those doing master PhD program. So I believe you are the second category. Is it right? Pasca Siswaza. Okay. Because you did not take a degree program. You are master and PhD program. So you are Pasca Siswaza. 
Okay. After student, the second one is Knight Chancellor. Knight Chancellor, the meaning is Vinci. Okay. So this is the image our Vinci. The picture of our Vinci. Her name is Professor Dr. Muhammad Roslan Sulaiman. Okay. This is the people are very responsible uh, in UPM. All right. And the third one, after student, after the VNC, so this is uh, lecturer. Okay, lecturer. So lecturer, they have um, the title. Some of them, if they are PhD holder, so you have to call, call them with the title doctor. Okay? And then some of them, if they have a PhD program and they have many researchers, so we have to call them Professor Madia. Actually, the title come from the university. University give the title for the best lecturer. So we have to call them Professor Maria. So Professor, the highest than Professor Maria. Okay, I want to explain about my title. I'm not like your lecturer. Okay, even this is my category, but I'm not your lecturer because I not come from faculty. I not come from your faculty because I come from the language center. So uh, language center is like a school. So we are like the teachers only. Even I am PhD holder, no need to call me doctor because I come from a school. I'm not from faculty. So that's why I told you just call me Madam Hidayah or Puan Hidayah. Okay? Uh, so I am different. Even I in this category. Okay, so pegawai. Pegawai is tough. The meaning is tough, right? And then they can. They can, the meaning is a dean. And at each faculty, they have a one dean. Like, um, uh, what we call it? The leader, lah. dean as a leader in the faculty. And the last one is pengarah. Pengarah is a director. Uh, same, my school, my, uh, my center, language center, we don't have a dean, but we have a pengarah. All right, so finish here. Yeah? Is it I go too fast? Just nice, eh? Or, or too fast? If I go too fast, please let me know, yeah? Okay, so just now, okay, I, I present to you the vocabularies in this week's uh, so many, but it was a very easy if you follow, start from the first slide, all right? So first, pinjam, pinjam boro, okay? You, if you go to library, you want to borrow some of book, you have to say pinjam. Saya mahu, I want pinjam buku. I want, saya mahu pinjam buku. I want to borrow books. Okay, pinjam. Uh, the type of books, what? Because like in library, they have a many books. What books? Reference books. Buku, rujukan. So after you borrow, what you have to do? Returnings. You have to pulangkan. Pulang. Okay, pulang. Alright, so waiting, the meaning is tunggu. Cycling is berbasikal. Do is buat. Pulang kaji is revision. The examination is peperiksaan. Getting closer or nearest, semakin hampir. Discussion is perbincangan. Group is Kumpulan. Okay, so so guys, look at the dictionary. Is I just call uh, this table as a dictionary lah because okay, I want to play with you the simple conversation. So you can check what the meaning. Okay, they have a few of words. I try to bold. So please check the meaning at the table. Okay, at the table, so you can find what the meaning for a sentence. Right. So before that, I need someone to be Ali and someone to be Siti. Wang Feng, can you help me to be Ali and Ali please help me to be Siti? Is it okay? Okay. Okay, Ali. Okay, Ali. Ali, Ali, no respond. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, I call you. I call you Ali because you write down your name, Ali, at your screen. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and read the conversation. Ali, start first. Okay. Hi, Sidi. Awak mahu pergi ke mana? 
Hi, Ali. Saya mahu pergi ke perpustakaan. Saya mahu pijan buku rujukan. Awal buat apa di sini? Saya sedang tunggu raju. Kami mahu berbasi kau selepas ini. Oh, begitu. Uh, saya mahu buat ulang kaji. Kenapa perpuluh kerana Eli kerana kerana perpuluhan semakin hampir. Ya, betul. Kami akan mengadakan perbincangan kumpulan pada waktu malam nanti. Mm, baiklah, baiklah. Saya masuk ke perpustakaan dahulu ya. Uh, jumpa lagi, jumpa lagi. Baik, jumpa lagi. Okay, very good. Terima kasih. Okay, so just now everybody, please uh, prefer the, the meanings. Okay. At the table, so you will be fine. So, but the meaning, the whole of sentence. Okay, so can we translate together? Yeah. All right. So Ali say, "Hi, Siti. Actually, this is a great thing, lah. Hi. Awak mahu pergi ke mana? What is it? Yeah, are you going? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Okay." Uh, actually, I was thinking we have found the, this word many times, right? Where do you want to go? Awak mahu pergi ke mana? Where are you going? And then Siti said, Hi Ali, greeting to Ali. Saya mahu pergi ke perpustakaan. What is it? I, I want, want to go to the library. To yes, library. I want to go to library. Okay, perpustakaan is library. Saya mahu pinjam buku rujukan. What happened at library? I want to borrow some or reference, reference book. book. Yes. Oh, okay. I want yeah. to borrow reference book. If you just say I want to borrow a book, this is not complete. The reference book mm. because they put buku rujukan. Awak buat apa di sini? What are you doing here? here. Yes. What are, what, here? Mm -hmm. what are you doing here? Saya sedang tunggu raju. What is it tunggu? Tunggu raju. I'm waiting some no waiting raju. Waiting yes. somebody. I'm waiting somebody. Her name is Raju lah. I'm waiting for Raju because Raju is Ali's friend. Kami mahu berbasikal selepas ini. What is it berbasikal? Review. Rides basikal or cycling. Okay, uh, we want to cycling after this. Selepas ini is after this, right? Oh, begitu. I mean, oh, I see. Saya mahu, I want to ulang kaji. What is it ulang kaji? I want to do? Revision. Revision. Kerana is because. Because peperiksaan semakin hampir. The examination is coming. Yes, because the day examination is getting closer. Nearest is coming. Okay. And Ali say, ya yeah, betul. Yes, that's right. Kami akan mengadakan perbincangan kumpulan. What is it? We have to do some of discussion. Okay. Perbincangan kumpulan. Group discussion. Okay. Pada waktu malam. Ha, what is it malam? Morning, mm -hmm. evening, afternoon, night? Afternoon. Afternoon. Evening. evening. Night. 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 Tonight. Oh, okay. Tonight. Okay. We have to do some of group discussion tonight. Okay. Malam nanti. Okay. 
baiklah saya masuk ke perpustakaan dulu. Okay, let me enter to the library first. See you later. Okay, see you later. Baik, jumpa lagi. Alright. So, finish. This is about the conversation where Ali meet a city at the bus stop. Alright, so I continue. Okay, uh, actually I have a sum of activity. I want to give you the words. So, you have to build up the sentence. Okay. But just now, I don't want to do this activity because at the end of the lesson, I want to I prepare some of uh, exercise similar like a test too. So, can I skip this activity, guys? Is it okay? Or you want to do the activity? It's okay. It's okay, eh? Uh, please don't report and eh? let the lecturer is boss lazy because they don't want to do the activity with the student. No, 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 no. <laughs> I prepared the other activity for you. Okay. Sorry, yeah. I have to skip. But uh, if we still have a time, yeah, we, uh, we will continue with activity. Okay. All right. So look at the, the about the uh, time and dates. Okay. Waktu dan tarikhnya. Okay. Actually, this is just a, rec we are recaps only. I already introduced about the time and the dates at the last lessons. How to write down the dates, how to write down about the time. Okay, so I just recap this uh, table I already explained in the second topic. How to say good morning, how to say good afternoon. Okay, I just recap because in test two, uh, you can see about the time, right? So look at pagi. Pagi, that means it's the morning time. Okay, so according time for morning is we have to start 1 a.m. to 11.59 a.m. Okay, they are very different with the Europe style or English style. Okay, so morning time, we have to start with 1 a.m. to 11.59. And then tengah hari. Tengah hari, what is it tengah hari? What does it mean by tengah hari? Uh, yeah, tengah hari is afternoon, all right? So the afternoon time is start 12 p.m. to 1.59 p.m. Uh, so this is just two hours only. Okay. Uh, tengah hari. And then after 2 p.m. to 6.59, this is evening time. Okay. Just a five hours only for evenings. All right. And then 7 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. This is a night area. Okay. Night area. I mean, selamat malam. Uh, if you want to give the greetings, you, have, you should say selamat malam or good night. And then, tengah malam. This is a very short time lah. Just one hour. I mean, tengah malam, is this is a midnight. Okay? 12 to 12.59. So, a long time is mornings. 1 a.m. to 11.59. How many, how many times? 12. Is it? 12 hours. If I'm not mistaken, lah, you have to try to check. You have to check. Lah. Okay, this is a long time, morning time. This is a very long. Okay, so you have to alert lah, uh, uh, about the time because uh, you have to put the answer uh, at the columns in your test. Okay, so uh, how to mention, how to ask him, what's time now in Bahasa Melayu, in Malay language? Okay. What's time now in Malay, uh, in Malay language? We call it pukul berapa sekarang. Pukul berapa sekarang. But if you just say pukul, uh, because sometimes my student, the English teacher, when she want to ask me about the time, uh, she look at me and then she say, time? Uh, like, like that, not? Uh, very short. Uh, teachers, time? And then I say, oh, just now it's 10 a.m. Okay, thank you. But in Malay language, if you say, Pukul, ah, uh, you know, pukul. The meaning is, you, you invite me to beat, ah, uh, okay. So pukul that means is you want beat someone. You want to asking about the time, you should say pukul berapa sekarang, okay. Alright, so about the half, okay. I mean a part of an hour. I mean a fifteen minutes, okay. If there are they have a minute, fifteen minutes. You have to say pukul dua. 15 minutes. I was thinking this is a very easy lah, same like the numbers. 
you have to put pukul and minutes if you want to mention about time. Right? Okay. Pukul 2, 30 minutes. I mean, it's 2 and 30 minutes. Okay. Pukul 2, 45 minutes. Same. All right. So, I believe everybody, uh, you already understand the method, how to mention about times. Is it? Uh, okay. So, I just skip. All right. So, this is the, main, the methods. Uh, how to write down about the dates, the difference here, yeah? the different ways between uh, English style with Malay style. Because English style, they have uh, what we call it this one, first, second, third. In Malay language, we don't have first, second, third. No, we just use the single number. One February, two February, three February. Okay. So the very difference, if you want to totally use the number. If you want to total use the number, we have to start with the day first. This is uh, 18 September 2020. But English style, they have to start with the month and follow by day. Okay, so you have to remember about the Malay style. This is a very important for your test too. Uh, when I say important, it should be something lah in your test too. Okay, all right. Okay, so guys, yeah, this part I'm very left because I want to sing a song with you all of you. <laughs> I know my 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 song is not good, but I have to. All right, because I want to share with you about the, the story with my kids. All right, actually, you have to memorize a uh, name of the day in a weeks. Okay, uh, in English, maybe it was a very easy. Okay, uh, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it was a very easy. But you have to remember the name of a day is week in Bahasa. We have to start with is nin. Okay, please catch up the pronunciation. Yeah, is nin. Okay, Tuesday is selasa. Selasa. Right. Wednesday is Rabu. Rabu. Huh. I was thinking, uh, you have a problem. Uh, you have. I mean. It, to say Rabu because some of you they have a problem to pronounce R Rabu. Okay, Thursday is Kamis Kamis, right? Jumaat for Friday. Jumaat, bukan Jumaat ya, yeah? not Jumaat, but Jumaat, right? Saturday is Sabtu, Sabtu, and the last one Sunday, Ahad. Okay, not ahada, no ahada, eh? ahad, full stop. Right? So, Isnin, Selasa, Rabu, Kamis, Jumaat, Sabtu, Ahad. Okay, I want to share something. The units uh, in the Malay people, but the Malaysia people, right? In English, if you want to mention about tomorrow, we just had today, tomorrow, and yesterday only, right? In English. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Okay? For example, if today is, uh, today is, where is it? Wednesday, right? Okay. Today is Wednesday. Yesterday is twist, uh, Tuesday. And tomorrow is Thursday. But the unique in Malaysia, we, ha we have, if we, we want to mention about Monday, we have to say semalam. A day before yesterday. If I, we want to mention about Friday, we did not say Friday. We have to say looser. A day after tomorrow. Okay? So, please did not confuse. Alright? I prepare to you the table like this one. Okay. So, please focus at the yellow color. Alright? So, in English, if you want to mention about today, in Bahasa Melayu, we say hari ini. Hari ini is today. Okay, hari ini is today. So, tomorrow, I mean is esok. Esok. Esok is tomorrow. Yesterday, back. The day back, right? So, we call it semalam. Okay. Day after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow, we call it looser. I mean before yesterday. 
the day before yesterday. Maknanya day after tomorrow lah. Okay, kemarin. Day before yesterday. Is it confused, right? Okay, so look at the table again. Okay, day before yesterday. Okay, if you confused, let me do it activity together. Alright. Oh, before we do it, the activity, you have to remember, of course, lah, the day in a week. Okay, you know, my kids, she is four years old. Okay, four years old. Uh, for sure, lah, she already know the name of the day in a week in Bahasa, in Malay language, because she is a Malay people. So, very fluent. She can say Isnin, Selasa, Rabu, Kamis, Jumaat, Sabtu, Ahad. So, when I call uh, my kids and I, I asking them, I request, please memorize the day in a week in English. Oh, my battery is going. Wait, yeah. Okay, so when I call, I request my kid, she is four years and she loves to sing a song. Uh, I call my kids, please memorize the day in a week in English. You know, she come, because she is um, at the, the Chinese kindergartens. And then she sing for me. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Seven day in a week. Kong chi kong chi kong chi ni ha ha like that. <laughs> All right. So my kid, she is a four years old. So I was thinking this is a message very good. So can you sing a song? The day is a week in Malay. Is nen selasa rabu kamis jumaat sabtu ahad. Tujo hari seminggu. Ya, kong, si kong, si kong, sini. Is it can or not? Tujo hari seminggu. Ah. Okay. Because my kids, my kids, uh, she learned in a Chinese kindergarten. So every single song, everything in a Chinese rhythm. <laughs> right. Okay. So I, I give you the method. So please memorize the date in a week. And let's go, we do the activity together, all right? So if you feel confused, please refer the table. Okay, please refer this table. Okay, so first of all, hari ini hari Jumaat. Hari ini, what does that mean by hari ini, guys? Hari ini is what? Today. 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 Okay. Just assume, today is Jumaat. Okay, esok. Friday. Esok Friday. hari. Ah. Yes. Es esok hari apa? Tomorrow. Ah, yes, esok is tomorrow. So what the day of tomorrow? Tomorrow. Pardon? Mm. Someone answer? What is it? Stop two. Stop two. Yes, stop two. Okay? Because today is Jumaat, so tomorrow is stop two. Because today is Friday, tomorrow is Saturday. Alright, number two. Semalam hari Kamis. What is it semalam? Yesterday. 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 So how about kemarin? Thursday. Kemarin. Day before yesterday. What is it? Day yesterday. Day, Day before yesterday. yesterday. How about yesterday? Yes, what the Tuesday. Selasa. Are you, Selasa. Sure? Are you sure Selasa? Semalam hari Kamis. Kemarin. Wednesday. Rabu. 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 Yes. Rabu. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So number three. Esok hari Sabtu. Esok is what? So tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, tomorrow is Saturday. Oh, yes. Saturday. Kejap, kejap, lari pula. Alah. Sorry, sorry. Kelmarin. Kontrazi. Okay. Esok hari Sabtu, lusa hari? 
Mr. Harry? Mr. Harry. Uh -huh. Day after tomorrow. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Number four. Kemarin hari Rabu. Semalam hari. Yesterday. Is yesterday. Is yesterday. Yesterday is Wednesday. Yesterday is Yesterday is Tuesday. Wednesday. What in Bahasa Lasa. Melayu? No. Are you sure Selasa? No. No. <laughs> semalam. Okay. What is it? Semalam is yesterday. Kemarin is yesterday. Yesterday. The day before yesterday. Hmm. What is it? Kemarin. Kemarin hari today. Rabu. After, no. after Rabu. What is it? After Rabu. Too much. Kamis. Oh. Kamis. 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 Okay. Uh, all right. So the last. Lusa hari Ahad. Hari ini hari. The day after tomorrow. The day is the Sunday. Today is the. Today is the. Is the Friday. Yes. Jumaat. Yes, Jumaat. Okay, maybe you confused, right? Uh, uh, so don't worry, this question not come in your test too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Just to enjoy only, okay? But you have to remember, this is Malaysia style. We use semalam, kemarin, lusa, at least we have more than this. Okay, we did not use uh Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We use Kamare, Lusa, Kamis, Tuesday, so you have to catch up. Lah. All right. Okay, so I continue by the table. All right, weeks. We call it Minggu. Okay, how many weeks in a month? How many weeks in a month? Four. Four. What four? four. What what number four in Bahasa? M M Pet. Yes, M Pet. So we should say empat minggu, for example, empat minggu. Uh, for, uh, for example, lah, weeks. I mean, uh, minggu. Okay, months. We call it bulan. Okay, months. How many months in a years? Twelve. What twelve in bahasa? Twelve. Twelve. Okay, 12. Very good. The number is just for example only. Okay, years. Okay. How old are you? <laughs> I celebrate already my my birthday yesterday for 37 years old. Alright. So, tahun. Years. Okay. Alright. So, how many days a year? How many days a year? Three Three hundred. Two, 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 I just recap yeah, the numbers to make sure you did not forget it. 365, uh, sometimes 366 because the February, sometimes they have 28 days on, uh, uh, sometimes after four years, just 28 day only. All right, so last, last week, so last week, that's mean, Minggu lepas. Okay, uh, next week, Minggu Hadapan. Last is past, next is Hadapan. Okay, every, every, that means it's setiap. So, every what? How to say, how to say every week in Bahasa Melayu? Minggu setiap. Minggu setiap? No, no, you have to setiap twist. Minggu? Setiap yeah. minggu. Setiap minggu. Okay. How to say every month in Bahasa Melayu? Setiap, setiap bulan. Setiap bulan. Yes, setiap bulan. How to say every years? 
Setiap tahun. Setiap tahun. How to say every day? Setiap hari. Setiap hari. Setiap hari. Yes. Setiap hari. Because day is hari. Okay. Alright. So, got it something? Uh, I hope you got something lah eh. From this class for today. Okay. I believe everybody, you already memorized the name of the months in the years. But just now, I want to everybody check the spelling, the, the difference between Malay and English. Okay. So just now, this is an English spelling. Okay. January. Okay. January. What the difference between Malay and English spell here? What the difference January? The letter I, right? Because English is January. Okay. You have to check your spelling. Uh, as a preparation for your final. Okay. Maybe they put the, the wrong spell. You have to make it the correct one. Okay. February. What the difference between Malay and English? The spelling. Also, I. Because February is February. Okay. How about March? March. English spelling. M-A-R-C. M-A-R-C. Yes, and it's totally different, yeah? Ah, totally different, March. The red color is English spelling. Please focus for the uh, black color. April, same. May, M-A-Y, right? M-A-Y. How about June? Missing? E. June. Yes, e. missing E for English, but J-U-N also, uh, just J-U-N for Malay. July? Also, the letter Y. Okay, August. August is totally different. Okay, A U G U S T, right? Yes. Okay, so this is English spelling. So you have to check with the Malay spelling. Yeah, September. Is it same or the same? Okay, October. O C. O C. O C. All right, so November. Same. 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 And the last November one, December. 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 Okay. All right. So the red color is English spelling and uh, black color is Malay spelling. So please focus uh, about the Malay spelling because this is Malay class. Yeah. Okay. So look at the conversation, the last conversation in topic six. The situation is Mei Ling. Uh, she wants to go to, she wants to attend a class. And then Mei Ling meets her friends. Her name is Suraya. Now Meng Fei, please be Suraya. And Zhu Lianqin, please be Mei Ling. Is it okay? Okay. okay. I just pick up randomly. Eh? Okay, so go ahead to read the conversation, please. Hi, Mei Ling. Awak mahu ke mana? Hi, Suraya. Saya mahu pergi ke kelas. Awak pula? Mm -hmm. Saya mahu pergi ke kelas. Bahasa Melayu. Kelas saya bermula pada pukul dua petang. Mm -hmm. Oh, pergi tu. Kelas saya um, bermula pada pukul uh, tiga petang nanti. Mei Ling, um, jan, jangan pula hadiah no, ke jang, kelas. No, jangan pula, lupa. Lu, lupa, lupa hadiah ke kelas. Ganti bahasa Inggeris pada hari Rabu, Minggu hadapan. Baik, uh, kalau saya tidak uh, silap, silap, silap tari Kenia panda pada pada uh <laughs> what numbers tiga puluh tiga puluh tiga puluh November uh dua puluh dua puluh betul betul Melin 
Kita jumpa di kelas nanti. Baik, jumpa nanti. Okay, very good. Alright, so let's we translate together. Please refer the table. Okay, you can find the meanings. Alright, so Suraya, hi Meling, greeting ya. Awak mahu ke mana? Okay, this the same word. This is a very famous sentence. Where do you want to go? Okay, hi Suraya. Saya mahu pergi ke kelas. I want to go to class. Okay, awak pula. How about you? Saya mahu pergi ke kelas bahasa Melayu. I want to go to Malay class. Kelas saya bermula. What is it bermula? Uh, look at the table. What does it mean by bermula? Can start. Yes. My start. class start. At 2 p.m. I mean 2 petang. Oh begitu. Oh I say. Kelas saya bermula pada pukul 3 petang. I mean is smelling class start at 3 p.m. But Suraya class start at 2 p.m. And then Suraya said. Meling jangan lupa. Jangan lupa that means is don't forget. Okay. Jangan lupa the meaning is don't forget. Jangan lupa hadir. Hadir is attend. Don't forget to attend our replacement class. English class. At Wednesday, Rabu. Rabu is Wednesday. Minggu hadapan. What is it minggu hadapan? Next week. Yes, next week. Don't forget to attend our replacement class. English class replacement at Wednesday next week. And then Smiley saying, okay, baik. Kalau tak, kalau saya tidak silap. Okay, this is, actually this is my sentence lah, my famous word. If I'm not mistaken, the date is 30 November 2020. Okay, about the years. Okay. If in the exam, in final exam, if you want to write down the dates, you want to write down about the date, you can say 2020 or 2020 if this is the date. But if this is the numbers only, you should spell 2020. Okay? If they put the date, day November 2020, you can say 2020. Okay? Betul. Alright? So, betul, Meling. Yes, that's right, Meling. Kita jumpa di kelas nanti. Okay, see you later on our class. Alright, see you later. Alright, so this is the conversation. If you if you want to make it assignment number two. Huh. Or just it did not done lah. Alright, so this is the table. You can check about the meaning based on the conversation. Alright, so as my promise. Okay, I was thinking I uh, complete here yeah, about the topics six settle. Complete seat just over there. Okay. So, as my promise, I want to show you the formats, the exam formats uh, in this Saturday. They have three parts, A, B, C. Okay. So, for part A, I can share with you because this is, uh, what we call it, this is too straight lah to share. If I share, you can see the answer. Okay. Because the A is a very easy. Okay, so I want to show you with the B and C. Is it the biggest one? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, the format C first and B first. Right, so B first. They have a five or ten question like this. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, the format in your exam, the question like this one for B. Okay, they give you the words. You have to rearrange the words to be a complete story. So just now, I give you five minutes. Can you complete the five? Question, please rearrange the word to be the complete story, the complete sentence, all right? So five minutes, please do with your surface.
Okay, finish? Alright. So, number one. I call your name, yeah? Please give your answer. Uh, Okay, Lee Shi Hao. Lee Shi Hao, are you there? Lee Shi Hao. Lee Shi Hao, are you there, Lee Shi Hao? No answer? Okay, Haidar Tahir, are you there, Haidar? Haidar Tahir? No. Sophie, are you there, Sophie? Yes. Okay, what the answer for number one? Uh, number one is Haka Paki Sebua Buka Yala Tua Sepa Tua Sepla Ringi. Again, how to read the uh, price? <laughs> Sorry. Number one? Uh, uh, to, uh, uh, 12 ringgit. Mm, yes, harga yeah. bagi sebuah buku ialah 12 ringgit. Okay, very good. Uh, Wangga, Wangga, number two. This is a very easy. Wangga, number uh, two. Hmm. Lemon rasanya masam. Lemon rasanya masam. Okay, very good. Terima kasih. Uh, Zhu Yunchen. Uh, sa, 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 saya uh, belang, belangkap uh, mem, membayar beli uh, i, beli elektrik di sini. Okay. So is it okay? Terima kasih. Okay, someone, is it right or incorrect? Do you want to make it? Repair about this sentence. QD, are you there, QD? QD? Yeah, I'm okay. here. Okay, number three, look at. Is it, is it right about the sentence? Saya bolehkah membayar bil elektrik di sini? Or you want to repair the sentence? Um... In my opinion, um, saya di sini. Belaha, saya saya di sini. Okay, bolehkah yeah. membayar bolehkah membayar bil elektrik saya di sini? This is your answer. No, okay. sa no, saya di sini. Belaha, okay. saya di elektrik. Okay, this is your answer, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. So I still find a good answer. Wang Rui Ti. Wang Rui Ti. Doctor, I'm here. Okay, what's your answer? My answer is Saya Belaka Di Sini Mambaya B Electric. Saya bolehkah di sini membayar bil elektrik? Okay, I still find a good answer. Chowzer. Chowzer. Chowzi, sorry, sorry. Chowzi. Okay, what's your uh, answer? Uh, uh, saya berhaka membayar di sini beli elektrik. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I should find the best answer. Can I have a try? Yes, for sure. See you. Belaka saya membayar bil elektrik di sini. Belaka saya membayar bil elektrik di sini. Okay. What do you think? This is correct or incorrect? Alamak. Jam. Sorry, may, sorry. may I may I make my answer? Wait, wait. Okay. Okay, bolehkah saya membayar bil elektrik di sini? 
Okay, who wants to share your answer? Uh, Sophie. Okay, Sophie, what's your answer? Uh, I think it's for Boreka Mumbaya, Disney, Saya Bio Electric. All right, okay. So I, I did not write the answer because, uh, okay, this is the best answer. Okay, bolehkah saya membayar bil elektrik di sini? Okay, all right. Bolehkah saya membayar bil elektrik di sini? This is a number three. Okay, number four. Thank you, yeah, for just try to answer number three. I did not call your name by one by one, yeah. Okay, good for try. This is a process of learning. Okay, number four, uh, Yan Chuning. Yan Chuning, number four. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, as I mean, mm. is uh, Barapak Hagas Sakelo Uda Uda Uda. Barapaka Harga Sakelo Uda. Okay, very yeah. good. Yes, correctly. This is the best answer. Okay, last one. Li Chin Yu. Li Chin Yu. Uh, yes, I'm here. Okay, what the answer? Number five. Uh, apa awa mahu makan? Apa awa mahu makan? Okay, I still find the best answer. Thank you. Zhang Kai Tai. Oh. Zangkaitai, yes, madam. Okay, what's your answer? The last one. Uh, awak mm -hmm. mahu uh, makan apa? Okay, awak mahu makan apa? Apa? Yes, this is the best answer. Okay, apa should be the last sentence. Awak mahu makan apa? Apa awak mahu makan? Okay, if you want to say apa awak mahu makan, okay? Uh. Lee Chin Yu say, apa awak mahu makan, okay? Apa awak mahu makan? We should put the word kah. Uh, this is the difference. If you want to put the questions, words in front of the sentence, you should put kah. Apakah awak mahu makan? Without kah, you should put the question word at the last of the sentence. Awak mahu makan apa? Right. So, terima kasih. All of you try to answer the activity. All right. So, now, this is the format for C in your test. Okay. On the Saturday. Uh, just a simple sentence only. I give you the simple sentence. I don't know. In your test, the, the simple or difficult sentence, I'm not sure. But I want to give your tips. Please look at the time. You will be the best uh, answer. Lah. You will be the best structure. All right. So, Actually, in your test, you have to rewrite back about the sentence. But just now, I just want to give me what numbers. Which one number? Two, one, number two, three, four, and five. Okay, so Wang Qingping. Wang Qingping, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Doctor. Okay, which one number one? Oh, um... okay, okay. I, I, actually, I have to give you the time. Everybody, I give you time, of course. Three minutes. Please find which one number okay. one, two, three. Okay. I will ask you later one shimping after three minutes. Okay.
Okay, done. All right. Yes. All right. So, uh, Ching Ping. Ching Ping. Mm, yes. Okay. Which one? Yes. Number one. Well, uh, well, I think uh, Satipa Hari, uh, is it a Liakam Pagi Karaja Padam Paku? Uh, this is number one. Pagi Pukul what? Oh, you skip me. <laughs> you did not write the, oh my God. the numbers. Pagi Pukul what? Uh... Ayo, ayo, lupa. Tujuh, empat, puluh, lima, pagi. Tu, okay. uh, pu pukul. Pukul. Um, pukul. Tujuh. Tujuh. Empat, puluh, lima. Empat, puluh, lima. Pagi. Lima. Pagi. Okay. Alright. So, okay. I still find which one the number one. Terima kasih, Chimping. Actually, this is not number one. Okay. Nuan Nuan. Which one number one, Nuan Nuan? Uh, yes. I think uh, it's Dia Tinggo Di Kelan Lampa. Okay. Nuan Nuan say Dia Tinggal Di Kelan Lampa. Also, this is not number one. Okay, Pepe. <laughs> nice yeah, to try. Okay. Which one number one, uh, Pepe? I think the last sentence, and I cheek Ali Soran Jutro is the first sentence. Okay, what does it mean by Ali Soran Jutro? Ali is an engineer. Yes, Inti Ali as an engineer. Okay, uh, so we have to introduce about the character first. Depends on the text lah. Okay, in this case, we have to introduce who it is Ali. Okay, number two, uh, Zhao Mengfei. Uh, number two is Dear Tingga Di Kuala Lumpur. Okay, what meaning? Uh, he comes from Kuala Lumpur. Yes, he stay or uh, he stay in Kuala Lumpur. He come from Kuala Lumpur. All right. And then number three, Shi Hao, Li Shi Hao. Li Shihao. Li Shihao. Many times I call your name, Li eh? Shihao. No answer. Okay, He Tio Ying. He Tio Ying. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Which one, number three? Uh, Sati Per Hali. Uh, Ik Kuti Ali Aka Per Pagi. Keraja pa, uh, Pada Pukul Ujur uh, Empat Puluh Lima Yeah Okay, what 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 the meaning in this sentence? Uh, every day uh, Mr. Alice goes to work at 7 uh, 45 a.m. Very good. All right. So number four, Yan Chuning. Yan Chuning, uh, number four. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I mean, do a walk, pull up, I forgot the numbers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to read it. Okay. Uh, something, but how? <laughs> Not fair. <laughs> okay, lima tiga puluh petang. All right. So what do you mean oh, yeah. this sentence, Yan Chuning? What do you mean this sentence? Uh, what's the meaning? Hmm. No. Mm. He will come back at 5.30 p.m. All right. So the last one oh. for sure. The answer is uh, He Zihan. Can you read for the answer number five? Because the only one for sure this is the answer. He Zihan, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Okay, read the sentence and give me what a meaning. Inik Ali Akan Di Du Pada Pupu Sepulau Malang. What does it mean? 
uh, Ali will go to bed at 10 o'clock. Yes, she'll go to bed at 10 o'clock. So just now in this case, because I'm not sure how about your question, yeah? I just prepare the question in part B. Okay, so see the other lecture A and the other lecture. So if uh, in Wednesday your question for C, uh, they put the time so it's easy for you to find to, to trace the answer. We have for sure we have to start with the pagi, petang, and malam. So how about two without the time? For sure, this is how to uh, introduce the character first, uh, explain the somebody first. So for sure, this is an answer. Okay. All right, so try to find the meaning lah, okay, with your own because you already memorized a few of words, all right? So guys, that's all for today. So any question about lesson and test two? Don't asking about assignment three. If you want to request for assignment three, yes, I can give just now, but I want to everybody focus for your test first. After finish your test, I will post about your assignment three. Okay, so any question about the lesson today? Ada soalan yeah. tak? Yeah. No. Uh, um, yeah. We didn't mark our name in assignment two. Can we submit it again? Yes. Before due oh, date, yes. you can okay. submit how many times you want. <laughs> Before due oh, date. Okay, okay. 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 Thank you. Most welcome. All right. So um, I want to say... Uh, many thanks, love to all, because you give me the high score, the highest ranking. Oh, so I don't know how to express my feel. Okay, many thanks to you. This is a good prize gift for me as my my birthday last time. Okay, I'm so appreciate. All right, so I wish you good luck for your test too. Uh, until just now, until the. Saturday, if you still have any inquiries about your revision, you can text me anytime. As soon as, soon as possible, I try to reply, okay? So I was thinking the, uh, we are finished already. So enjoy your day today and see you again. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye semua. Terima kasih. Bye. Bye. Terima kasih for your Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Yes, thank you, thank you. Aidar, Aidar, are you Madam? there, Aidar? Why? Yes, sorry. Uh, the, it is six o'clock here in our time, so. Oh, six o'clock, all right. I call your, your name is many times, but no respond. I was thinking you're absent for today. So, Aidar, I put our recording class in YouTube. Please make a revision, eh? Because uh, in this Saturday, we have you have to sit down for your test two. So the test two topic conclude is four, five, and six. So please don't miss this lesson for today, yeah, Haidar? Yes, so it is for five and six. Mm -hmm. Please find in a YouTube. Okay? Uh, okay, ins inshallah. I don't know uh, which time will be. Uh, Saturday, eight. 30 p.m. to 9.15. You have to submit your answer in 45 minutes. After, after the time runs out, you cannot send your answer again. So make sure you submit, you have to done the answer to all of question in 45 minutes and then click the button submit. Okay, Haida? Inshallah. Inshallah. Right. The date is January 8th, 2021. Okay? Okay, right. Inshallah. I I will send the link for your the, the, the questions in a WhatsApp group. Please alert with your uh, WhatsApp group, yeah? Okay, uh, Doctor, there is no uh, uh, instruction? Mm, they are writing tests. They have, yeah. okay, I will, I will, I will, let me show you. Mm. Okay. Okay, so this is the detail about your test two. The date is 8 January 2022. Uh, the time is 8.30 to 9.50 p.m. So the medium we use is Google Forms. So I will share the links at 8.30 by WhatsApp group. Okay, so 
So okay. this is the tips, right? So the topic conclude is four, five, and six. So A, you have to fill in the blanks with the best answer. B, you have to rearrange the words. Same like uh, our exercise last time. Okay. Mm. And the C, rearrange the sentence. Same with our exercise last time. Inshallah. All right. So please uh, make a revision, reviews our uh, previous class in YouTube. I will post the all of topics in the YouTube after this. Inshallah. Uh, uh, there's the tube link we will add it to the group or it is at the Putra Blast already? No, 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 no. I did not put in Putra Blast. Okay. I, I share the links in WhatsApp group. So you will get the link at 8.30 p.m. on that day. Ah, inshallah. Uh, the, the, the YouTube link I have already done with the, with the, because I haven't found a group in this, uh, uh, in this uh, section nine. Mm -hmm. So I did it with Marwa yeah. Rikabi in section 20. Yeah, I got it. I got your video. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I finished. <laughs> <laughs> finished already, right. I, I already request. Okay, inshallah. Thank you, doctor. Okay, so that's all for today, Haidar. See you. Wish we good, you, you good luck, yeah? Be taufik one yeah. <laughs> yeah, Inshallah. I, I will back to sleep because the lecture starts in uh, in 5 p.m. here in, in our mm. time. Oh, okay. You're in Baghdad, right? Yes. Sorry, the alarm hasn't ring this week. Maybe I, I haven't heard it. I, I try to understand <laughs> you, but you have to help yourself to pass in my subject. Okay, Haidar? Inshallah. All Thank right. you. So, most welcome. See you in Malaysia. Inshallah. Yeah, inshallah, inshallah. Okay, assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.